What's up guys, welcome back to Deck Tech for Decks. Today we're tackling 10 budget red cards that I find myself throwing in all of my decks. So since I'm a man of the people, I'm going to share that knowledge with you and hopefully it'll help uh, bang your decks out. Without further ado, let's get into it. We have Guru Guru. I really like this guy because he's a two drop or two mana, yeah, comes into the battlefield. He's going to give your creatures haste for basically the rest of the game. If they do use spot removal on this guy, congratulations. You drawed out spot removal with a two mana card. Pretty useful. Additionally, just having haste is amazing. Casting those giant creatures and then being able to attack with them that turn is basically like just getting an extra turn with your giant creature. As soon as you cast a giant Adiphage, they're going to be trying to get rid of it, and this card can make sure to where you have an opportunity to use that if they don't counter it on the spot. Moving on, we have Faithless Looting. I love this card because it just smooths out all of your draws. This card in your opener feels amazing. You're going to look at four different cards. You only have to discard two of them. And if you're in a graveyard strategy, that just helps you out anyway. You know, just discard your biggest creature. You've got an anime dead in hand. You're off to the races and ready to go smash some faces. All right, let's get into Mana Geyser. Why did people stop playing this card? It's amazing. People just tap out all of their lands, play their biggest spells, and then we can punish them with this. It's only 5 mana. People already play Jessica's Will. Notably, it doesn't draw you cards. But in an X spell deck, this is going to be pretty insane. Pretty nasty. Next up, we have Flame Shadow Conjuring. I like this card because it's kind of like a pseudo haste, right? No, it doesn't give your creature haste, but it's going to double up on your creature for a turn. Basically, letting you use it the turn it comes down. Additionally, this can double up on all your ETBs. I've been shoving in it. Shoving it in some decks to try it out. Sorry, there's a fly. He's trying to murder me. Please help. And I've been surprisingly, you know, surprised by the results. This card does work and it just works. Next up, we have Goblin Bombardment. I don't think I have to tell you guys. Card's pretty good. You can sacrifice your creatures, take out other creatures, sacrifice your creatures, take out your opponent. This card's super flexible and just puts in work. Next up, we have Ogre Battle Driver. Let me sell you on this card real quick. I know it doesn't see a lot of play, and I know it's four mana. That's kind of costy, right? Power creep's coming. But it's amazing in Power Matter decks. If you're playing Elemental Bonds and Guruk's Pack Leader already, this can make it to where your 1-1s trigger those cards. So if you find yourself, you have a deck, and it makes 1-1s, and you have power cards in there that want to trigger Elemental Bonds and Guruk's Pack Leader, Throw this in there, and I promise you, you'll be surprised with the results. Additionally, haste is just good, and it helps with our next card, Warstorm Surge. This is going to actually add the two before it enters the battlefield, so it will trigger on into the battlefield effect, so it's just really good for Power Matters decks. Additionally, Warstorm Surge is amazing. You're casting big giant spells, whether that be demons, whether that be dragons, whatever you need in your red degenerate stuff. This is just going to add to the amount of damage you're doing to your opponents. Pretty good. Next up, we have Felden of the Third Path. Notably, this is one of those cards you can be like, I've been playing this for years and I have not noticed that. And I promise there's a lot of cards like that. Felden of the Third Path makes the recurred card an artifact in addition to its other um, ability or other types. So we've gotten a lot of artifact cards these past years, and this just buffs up that... Um, archetype making your creatures artifacts is really useful now with all of those new commanders that care about that we also have chain reaction this is just a massacre girl in red i really like it i've tried it out a few times and honestly it does exactly what it says it does basically just wipes the board next up we have magus of the will i love this card in will decks and i also love this card in graveyard strategies it's really good just to mill yourself and throw a lot of cards into the graveyard while you're also drawing a lot of cards. Because Mill is pretty cool, right? It just takes cards from the top of your library and puts it into your graveyard. Good, efficient. But what's even better is just throwing your whole hand, the cards that you don't want to play, into the graveyard, and then getting a whole new hand. Getting both of those things done at the same time. We're filling our graveyard, and we're getting a new hand. Notably, it is good in Will decks, and honestly, it's really good in Recursion. I think it's better in Recursion decks because it's on a body, we can bring it back, we can keep doing that, and we can abuse it to its full potential. Well, Will decks, they normally have a spell, you know, synergistic kind of thing with them. So I like this guy for um, 
graveyard strategies. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about these videos. I'm enjoying doing them personally, but honestly, it's all about you guys. Whatever you guys want, I'm going to give you more of. So if you guys want deck text, I'm going to give you deck text. If you guys like these little, hey, I like playing these cards, but maybe you guys should play these cards videos, let me know too. I always like suggestions as a commander player. So let's leave our suggestions in the comment section below. Help everybody else out, right? Help me out even. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope this helped you in your deck building endeavors.